Wildfire Podcast is an extension of Wildfire, which has a focus of igniting men and women of God into a deeper discipleship with Christ, instilling people with a passion to radically and relentlessly pursue Christ wherever that leads, that God's truth will spread like a wildfire. Hello, Dad. How's it going? Hey, it's going well, look, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, you I'm good. good. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Like Dad and someone sitting opposite each other. Yeah, because yeah. we were just having a normal conversation and then we just dive straight into it. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Uh, the purpose of this video yeah. slash podcast is to finally conclude and clarify what actually is Hope to Families. Absolutely. Hope to Families is a registered charity, look, and I suppose initially it was to bring hope to families facing cancer, to to provide them support, whatever that might be, practical, emotional, spiritual. However, when we opened the centre, we have discovered that we've widened that out and we're now bringing hope to families just facing any sort of difficulty in life. We also have a wildfire branch which is the youth the youth branch that you head up. So tell us, what's that about? So yes, they're not to be confused. They're not two separate entities. So you've got Hope to Families, as you said, and then you've got Wildfire, which is the youth slash discipleship branch. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah. So it has a different uh, sort of focus, yeah. a different sort of outlook um, to Hope to Families. And its central focus is to ignite men and women of God into a deeper discipleship with Christ amazing in short so what does hope to families actually stand for like what does it stand for hope to families stands for well initially I've already referred to it it brings first and foremost practical emotional and spiritual support to all families that come our way and I guess we want to instill that hope obviously being hope to families we want to still instill that hope into every individual that comes through the doors or every individual that we make contact with and that hope's only to be found in the lord jesus christ and then we want to try and restore families whether that be marriages whether that be children and parents we want to try and bring restoration to families and obviously then finally we want to raise awareness for families not only in relation to cancer and all that that entails emotionally and physically upon the cancer sufferer, but we want to also raise awareness with regards to drug addiction. We've, as you know, look, we've had a lot of families coming into the centre with addiction problems. So we want to raise awareness on that. Yeah, so you've got those four main points of what you stand for. Absolutely, four main points, all in a nutshell, physical, spiritual, emotional, hope in Jesus Christ, raise awareness with cancer, drug addiction, and obviously bring restoration to families. Perfect. What about yourselves in the wildfire branch? Yeah, this is so back to forth (laughs) and formal. (laughs) No, it shouldn't be formal. This is not scripted. (laughs) We have not scripted this. It is. It's totally scripted. (laughs) What actually, no, wildfire, what, give me just sort of. So what we stand for, four main things, just like hope to families, but of course, and it's not scripted. <laughs> it is so scripted. <laughs> so you've got four, I've got four. I've got, yeah. It's beautifully paralleled. Uh, we want to disciple the individual. Yeah. So we just want to disciple uh, specifically in the age bracket of 12 to 24 year olds. Uh, and then we want to uh, get that disciple uh, to then go and disciple themselves. Absolutely. So we're going to disciple the individual and then Indiv- we're going to yeah. get that individual yeah. to disciple. And we want to create that rhetoric where we disciple them we're there in a position to then disciple and that goes generationally so forth so forth and continues like a wildfire <laughs> yeah we want it to spread like you wildfire. just burst so many eardrums <laughs> sorry 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 about that yeah um but excited uh, and then we want to create a network of unity so we just want to sort of draw alongside churches we want to draw alongside different organizations different charities and we just want to journey with them help them and a uh, disciple along with them and just create that unity and that togetherness and help yeah. accomplish other people's missions as as well because centrally it's to serve christ and disciple we're all doing the same thing just different methods we want to uh, join together and then we want to have fun fun as brilliant. well and you want to have fun as well and hope to find well, my life's fun my life <laughs> <laughs> my, my life centers around fun you know, just just on that i want to ask you something sorry just off off the the beaten track no <laughs> your wildfire is obviously going to make 
connection with churches, etc. And this is not is not right. Did you say that? Just the few I just ago? said that. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I actually was listening. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Just clarity. Oh, was that it? <laughs> I, said that. I just wanted to make sure that you were connecting to, to churches in the area. Uh, you know, yes, and we, further field. Yeah, because likewise, like yourself, in the Hope to Families, it's a charity. It's going to be connecting 100%. with churches, with families, with Absolutely. so we, many different things to try and provide that practice support and provide practice support in communities. And can we put that out there just now as well? We would love to connect with churches yeah. to, to literally tell them what we do. Yeah, so that, exactly. that's brilliant. So Hope to Families wants to connect with churches, communities yeah. and charities to provide those Absolutely. four things that you said, the emotional practical support and the restoration and the uh, cancer support. Absolutely. And then on the youth bride, the, the youth branch yeah. side of things, we too want to connect with churches, but with the slant of discipleship. Absolutely. Brilliant. I love it, actually. Is it good, isn't it? I really, really, I'm sort of excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you... <laughs> Why do you, uh, what, like, what, why does uh, Hope to Families uh, ex- exist? Why? Because you've just told us the what, yeah. but what's behind that? Why? What's the motivation simple, behind it? Simple. The, the original motivation behind it was obviously my own, as you know, my own journey through cancer and my time in hospital. You didn't know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just for Don. That's for Don. <laughs> you didn't know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that, that's the motivational. So why we do what we do is because... Literally, look, you know, we have seen it. The devastation that's out there in families would motivate any believer to try and reach out and bring a message of hope. So that's why we do what we do. Fundamentally, obviously, is because of my own journey and just watching people struggling through chemotherapy, through cancer diagnosis, through everything. But ultimately, just seeing the need, seeing the need. That is why we do what we do. And remember this, look, the other thing is, you know the way we wear all them bands? Do you wear one? WWJD? Yeah? No, you don't? No. What would Jesus do? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, you're with me. <laughs> um, what would Jesus do? And remember, scripturally, when Jesus saw the people, he was mo- moved with compassion. So, as a Christian, it's not just okay just to say you're Christian. You've actually got to do something. So, put feet to it and, and bring support to that. So, just, just, that's the whole purpose of why we do what we do. Um, I guess you do what you do because you're a young guy, or is there more to it with the welfare? There's more to it. Oh, it's deeper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so why we do what we do is we want to be conductors of God's love. So too often or not, conductors. Conduct. I just like electricity. I just I'm back in physics in Cookstown <laughs> High School after you just said that. No, yeah. so Conductors. so often or not we learn something. God teaches us something because that's yeah. what our journey is. But we don't want to just be a uh, like conduits where we just keep it and store it all up. We want to just transfer that, and that's what it is. We want a sermon on that. There's two C's. <laughs> Conductor <laughs> and a conduit. Oh, love it. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we want to just provide wildfire that platform where we give uh, young people a voice to yeah. grow young people a voice to to speak and to teach and to put themselves out there and and learn and to be discipled yeah. and to not just keep what god's teaching them but to actually speak it and also like our leaders myself included we're so young we want to do that there's so much god's teaching me i want to can i just interact yeah i'm also a leader does that mean like we are yes. so young <laughs> yeah yeah we are so young you are you're a leader, I'm a leader yeah, absolutely I, I forgot about that yeah so are you retracting the statement no, of I'm not I'm not uh, and then we also want to provide day to day like day to day that was our motivation like yeah. so after not I would have a conversation with someone and I'd say like how's your faith going and they'd say it's up it's down they'd say that it could be better and I just we just want to I just got exhausted by that rhetoric that mm-hmm. was happening within like God's church that was happening within my specific generation like that 12 to 24 year old bracket and I was getting exhausted about that. And rather, we want to, like, I want to say, how's your faith going? It's going incredible. Like, yeah. I'm running my race. I'm passionate. I'm on fire for Christ. Absolutely. And so we want to just help instill that in people through God's word and through some of the practicalities of, of what we do. And then we were, there was also seeing a need and meeting a need. So, like, going and doing teams in communities and churches and seeing the works that were being done, but then having to leave them. Do you know what I mean? Uh, like doing yeah. a team, going out, doing a kids camp. Oh, I know. And I know. then leaving so that. It's the follow up. Leaving that community. Do you remember, can I just interrupt there again? Do you remember Norman Linus, you know, my mentor? Norman Linus used to say it was always the follow up mm. that was key. So it's yeah. okay coming to like Remelton or somewhere, wherever you, and being there a week. But it's the follow up. Very good, look. Yeah. yeah. So 
they would then like the church the organization they would then contact us yeah and we would then bring a team out there to help further that ministry right. uh, which is one of our discipleship programs we want to sow uh we want to reap that which has been sown brilliant love it do, do you know what I mean? and then we've also got uh, everything has and continues to grow like a wildfire so maybe whenever we started it wasn't what it looked like now but god has just sort of blessed us and kept it growing and going and a lot of people have just started joining yeah. and i've we've like so many people have started watching and it sort of kept us going and it's brought us to like the podcast the youtube the center uh just so much is happening it's and it basically means that whenever people ask us where's wildfire going we don't really know because it's wherever god's going to take and god's going to grow it means we're going to grow deeper into it absolutely so that's the sort of the four things of why the youth branch side of hope to families does what it does amazing and the very uh, ethos of your name wildfire you have no idea when a wildfire starts it spreads exactly <laughs> so you have no idea where wildfire ministries is going to yeah. go and how god's going to bless it that, that's phenomenal look. and that and that's i'm excited about that exactly <laughs> so as you said that well, but you are excited well i'm an excitable sort of a guy i'm more excited than you we're both excitable. We are. <laughs> we I am your son. <laughs> uh, okay, so how do you do what you do on the Hope to Family side through that lens? How do you accomplish what you've said and why you've said that? You've got the motivation, you've got the what, but how do you do it? Well, we've got a lot of things happening, like um, we've so many things happening. So, for example, we've got our Monday and Friday drop-ins, which have been just amazing. Monday and Friday, 11 o'clock to 2, two ladies that are in the kitchen all the time, Joanne, and, and Thelma just running that and it's, it's tremendous so many people are coming in you know without going into too much detail obviously you know that there's been many people that have received help already with regards to drug rehabilitation with regards to various things so that's tremendous then we've got our men's group on a Monday night um, then we've got our ladies group as well then we come together men and ladies two Wednesday nights a month mm-hmm. and we have that study time and prayer time together then Ken McClatchy runs a thing at three o'clock on a Sunday uh, and it's just tremendous. We've also got some sort of informative training programs that are planned, and that's in relation to addiction. We are also making connection at the minute with Women's Aid and with the yeah. Stars Foundation as well. The other thing that we're about to launch, and it's just amazing, we've got a few guys that are going to bring an amazing thing. You came up with the name of it, and I forgot it. It's not, um, you know, our practical side, we went to the community. Teams for Hope. Teams for Hope. Hope. So Teams for Hope are going to do a lot of practical things over the summer, whether that be painting. We've already had a guy here, Clark, who's already painted a lady's yeah. house. We'll be doing gardening and various things like that. So again, what we say, we've got things to back it up practically to actually but do. What's happening? Yeah, so you're going to be, uh, that's just one aspect. You sort of, uh, oh, this is the how you're doing it. Oh, Yes. You just asked me how the, what, what the how yes, was. Sorry, that's a, that was bad for me there. Yes. I knew because you were looking at me as if to say, what is he on? Sorry. Yes, okay. that's the how, that's the how. Yes, so for Hope to Families, if, yeah. I could, if I could come in as well and interject, could, may I? You may. You may. <laughs> yeah. So you've got the divergent online content. Now, what does that mean? So that's everything that we're on all of our social Absolutely. media platforms. There's loads of platforms. Yes, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, podcasts. Brilliant. And guys, I want to say, please get on to all that stuff. There's so many amazing interviews. And I think we've got to say this. Look, it's not just me and you. There's so many amazing stories. Like, I mean... Yeah, the Journey and Hope interviews. Journey and Hope interviews. Um, we'll be coming to yours now, but I think a lot of people have contacted me in relation to the wildfire ones. The one that you did with Mike, Michael Williams. Yes. Has just been like... I've had so many people contact me just to say, wow. Yeah, because he's so it's, incredible. It's tremendous. Well, there's a lot of incredible people. Yeah. Michael, certainly. Mike Williams like is... In your Journey and Hope interviews, you've interviewed people who have gone through mental illness, cancer, people who is uh, struggling with identity issues. Yeah. You've got yeah. Uh, transgenderism, asexual, biromantic, uh, things like that. You've got people going through cancer. Yeah. And it's about yeah. hearing their stories, giving them a voice. And... Uh, making people aware of the reality of suffering but also the hope that people find in christ that's it the whole message through that yes that's their journeys but they all want to bring this word that is key to you and fundamental to our organization hope hope yeah i've heard that a few times and then you you said yourself you've got training programs some training that you want to do a training people in alcohol addiction a training people in drug addiction how we can a 
educate ourselves in that and better ourselves absolutely. in that and there's so many more training programs that will come throughout throughout the years absolutely and then you've got the events we've got our events we've got our like praise nights we've got oh, we've you, oh you said it, the drop-ins so Sorry, much more and then you try oh, to say I'm that. just recapping I'm oh, just recapping, recapping. recapping. And you've got, I just thought you were trying to say right dad you're going to repeat yourself again so just stop <laughs> <laughs> that, that is what I said right, okay. and then we have the teams as well as you said that are going to go out teams of hope are going to go out into communities neighborhoods churches yeah and we're just going to provide practical support we're actually just going to do and help people as Wh- best whatever's we needed we're going to try yeah, yeah. we're going people to try and meet that need us. we've got a few talented people that come to the center like whether that being joinery whether that being landscaping whether that being electrics we've got a few people that want to to, to help and we all know how we are incompetent in that area so we appreciate those giftings for we more. are extremely incompetent in that area <laughs> look i yeah. mean uh you know we definitely are because if i was to ask you to bring out the lawnmower do you know what a lawnmower is yeah yeah <laughs> anyway we're not going getting into that no we're not going to slice the other. point where you now ask me what the wildfire branch how it accomplishes look look this is the point where i now ask you what <laughs> Does the wildfire branch do? How do they accomplish what they <laughs> seek to do? Well, Mark, thank you for... I'm also your dad's son. <laughs> yes, you, call, you called me Luke, though. You didn't call me son. Oh, sorry, Luke. So I'm just reciprocating. Yeah. So we too have our, again, four points. We <laughs> actually are. We are actually, actually, we are actually, we are actually <laughs> preachers. <laughs> we are actually preachers. <laughs> and then we've got, number one is divergent online content. Yeah. So it's the same, we're on all the same social media platforms and we too have our own podcast and we also have music though. We have a worship team and we... Uh, is that on Spotify? Uh, that's on sp- everything that you can think of. I, I'm any not really music, up into all any, that stuff, but it sounds we're good. 11 st- to 12 streaming platforms for music, Brilliant. 11 to 12 streaming platforms for Wildfire Podcast, 11 to 12 streaming platforms for the Hope to Families Podcast. That includes Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. That's and, really, really good. And various That's others. the way forward, isn't it? It's the way forward. Aye. Mm. It's the way forward. Uh, and then we've got our discipleship programs. So we've got our Paul and Timothy, which is just individual one-on-one discipling and getting them prepared to go and disciple. We've got our so and Paul and Timothy, they live in Coleraine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they Paul and Timothy. Yeah, okay. okay. And then we've got, our so and <laughs> we've got our so and reap discipleship, which is those people who are sowing and doing a the work, yeah. they can call on us, Wildfire, to come and reap that which is being sown. Absolutely. Then we've got our football and fellowship, which is discipling through football. Uh, then we've got our events. Mm-hmm. So we've got Wildfire Nights, which is 17 to 24 year olds. We've got Wildfire Youth, which is 12 to 16 year olds. And then we have Wildfire Chill, which is a series of connection events like spikeball, volleyball, uh, football, watching the Champions League, watching Liverpool lose the Champions League. And then we've got... <laughs> <laughs> then we've <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, <laughs> the league and the Champions League in a week. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. And then we've got our Wildfire Hotspots, which oh. is our... Take a guess. Hotspot? No. Small groups. Oh, Sp- yeah. Playing words. Oh, it's a playing hot spots. Hot spots, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Hot spots. Yeah, yeah. You know yes. where you get a hot spot for like data or Wi Fi? I, yes. I don't know what that is, but it comes up on my phone. You're not connected to <laughs> yeah. hotspots. So yeah. we have little hot spots where we meet in small groups. So that's, Love it. that's another. That's tremendous. Yes. And then we've got our teams. So just if you have your teams, we have our teams, but they have a different focus, um, such as Spark, Ember, Ignite. Yeah. So there are just three different levels or three different stages of people's journey in relationship with Christ. Yeah. And they would then decide which team they want to go on. And we then progress them. And there's more details to that. That's fantastic. But that's um, how we do what we do. That's amazing. It's I amazing. love it. I love it. It's, it. Honestly, there's such a need and so much potential here. It's tremendous. Look. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so uh, where can people find us? I'll take this one. I, can mean, like, you're, I am out of this. Gone. I am gone. So Work they can find us on yeah. Instagram. And this is for both. So hope to families and wildfire well, yeah. and of course there's crossover but we've created channels for each just to facilitate the different sort of lens and focus of uh, our branch and then hope to families yeah, as a yeah. whole so we've got instagram accounts for each mm-hmm. we've got twitter accounts for each okay uh, we've got snapchat accounts for each we've got facebook accounts for each we've got a podcast account for each okay we've then got our music as well that can be found which we've discussed and we've got a website for hope to families mm-hmm. and we've got a website for a uh, wildfire that's brilliant and that's everything let me just double check that's just i pretty much don't that know one. how to we've also got tech tech talk tech tech <laughs> no we've got tech talk for hope to families and we've got tech talk for wildfire that sounds really good 
all I know is that I can work none of them. So thank you for that. And we've got our YouTube channels as well. Ah, okay. Yes. Dead on. Brilliant. YouTube for, so for YouTube for Taylor Theology. And we've also got a YouTube for Mark Taylor. So we're in no short supply in summary of where people can find us. There's really no excuse. There is no excuse whatsoever. We are everywhere. Again, we're spreading <laughs> like wildfire. wildfire. <laughs> yeah. So, um, in summary, this here podcast, this video that you're listening to, this is here to say what Hope to Families is, what it is, uh, what its focus is, yeah. why it's created, how it does it, and where you can find it. And again, there's going to be a, a mission statement, so there's going to be a document that you can read, yeah. but that can be used alongside this video, this podcast that you can uh, listen to and read and go back and forth. And so can people watch what we've just done now? People can watch it. They can go back and forth. And then oh, just listen. Yes, they can be like, what was Hope Farms for? Why oh, did they do it? How did they do good. it? It's very good. It's Why very did good. they do it? And they can do the same for, for Wildfire. And they will also have a written document in front of them that will explain it oh, as well. Man. Okay. okay. <laughs> so that's it. What? How? Why? Where? The same. Brilliant. What? Why? How? Where? Well, so in summary, Hope to families, give us a few lines. Hope to families, simple. Letting the families know that there is hope to be found in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only hope. That's it. And Wildfire is the youth branch, which has a specific focus of discipleship. Yeah. But we too want to instill people with the same hope. Yeah. That is Jesus. Hallelujah. Mark, it's been an absolute pleasure <laughs> doing look, this with you. Look, honestly, this has been probably one of my lifetime <laughs> achievements today. And I hear by <laughs> Yeah, thanks. It's great. It's great. All joking aside, it's great to let people know what we're doing. Yeah, like, exactly. I mean, uh, and we want people to contact us. 100%. And we want, 100%. We're already getting so much contact. So many yeah. people are listening. So many people are watching. So many people are messaging us. And we are stretched because we're only beginning. And we should make people aware that we are a registered charity. Isn't that correct? We are a registered charity. And people, we are so thankful for those that do give to us. Both because it, it, it's needed, obviously, to keep the sender going. Um, so, yes, registered charity. People, if they want, they can claim, you know, they can fill out a form, gift aid, etc., etc. Yeah. So, yeah, we're thrilled at that. Like, so, you can give to the uh, work that we are doing, the charity that is Hope, Hope to, to families, families or Wildfire. And you can find that on our websites. You can find that on our social medias. You can get in contact with us if you want to. Are you to, creating a GoFundMe page gonna that's going to be live constantly? Yeah, we're going to be creating a live GoFundMe page that people can give to. Yeah. Uh, so, again, contact us or give to the GoFundMe page or find the links uh, on our websites that you can give to Hope to Families. And by doing so, you give to uh, the youth branch side of things as well. Brilliant. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, we'd really appreciate it, whether that be just a one-time giving option or whether you want to set up, a, be a donor and be a daily. Oh, I one time. If somebody's given one time 10 grand, it's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm happy with the one time. Like. Yeah. And uh, we also uh, appreciate prayers as well. Praying more than anything, look. Like, yeah, more than Because we raise awareness for people going through suffering yeah. and we want to pray to uh, our God who's sovereign and, and is in it. It's yeah. not just about uh, the money. But of course, that's a practical side of things as well. well. Keeps so. things keeps things going, and we're also like, as you know, we're also investing that into areas of need. So yeah, okay. Thank you so much. Thanks, and we will uh, see you on the next podcast on both side of things, and the next people are going to be watching this and seeing this all over the place. So Brilliant. Brilliant. we'll just say it's class. Look. We'll just say goodbye to the camera. Bye and bless goodbye. you, folks. Keep praying for us. We'll love you. Uh, love you, Luke. <laughs>